So we have discussed three examples of systematic error, and now we need to know how to reduce the error. Systematic error can be reduced by conducting the experiment with care. Okay, do it carefully. Uh, so make sure that you use the instruments correctly. Try to identify the zero error. Uh, so before you make a measurement, so check the instrument to see whether it starts exactly at zeros or not. If it does not start from zero, that's fine. After you make measurement, you just try to minus the zero error from your measurements. So another way to reduce the systematic error is repeating the experiment by using different instruments. Why? Because maybe the instruments that you use is uh, incorrectly calibrated. So therefore, if you use another instrument, then you will realize that the readings is different. So if you found that the reading is different, if you use different instrument, then uh, you should know that one of it may have incorrect calibrations. So, uh, so this is how we reduce a systematic error, okay? But uh, one thing that you need to know, systematic error cannot be reduced by finding average of the readings, uh, okay? If you use the same instrument you measure for a few times, and then you find the average of your readings, uh, these methods won't reduce the systematic error. Conclusions. So first, you need to know the definition. Systematic errors are errors which tend to shift all measurements in a systematic way in such that their mean value is displaced. Uh, you need to know the sources or examples of systematic error, uh, zero error, incorrect calibrations, and consistently improper use of equipment. So that is the examples of systematic error that you need to know and how to overcome, how to reduce, how to overcome the zero error. Conduct the experiment with care and repeat the experiment by using different instruments. It must be different instruments, okay? If you repeat the experiments by using the same instruments, uh, this won't help. Because you cannot remove systematic error by finding the mean or average of your readings. This can't help, okay?